Well, it is time for a very favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week, our, our bumper sticker edition. We've been a little chatty tonight. Uh, Patty, as always, start us off. Dave Williams, a candidate who wants to be able to use his nickname, Let's Go Brandon, uh, so far on the, on the ballot. So far, Jenna Griswold has been wise to say no, but I think we need our own nicknames on this show, and I'm going to lobby for it like, Dave, I do research, Copel. <laughs> it's a disgrace that we don't have those. David. <laughs> <laughs> Governor Polis uh, criticizing what he called the socialistic uh, interference by uh, uh, Florida and with uh, with Disney and saying in Colorado we don't do that to companies like Disney and Twitter, which is true like if you're Excel because then you get to run your own re the regulatory agency that runs you. But if you're in oil and gas or if you're a small business that was eliminated by the Polis lockdowns and uh, the state of Colorado interferes quite a lot in uh, private businesses. Denise. Well, listening to uh, CPR just the other day, there was a, a snippet of an interview with the governor where he actually equated anthrax with fentanyl. I thought that was completely disgraceful. It's misinformed, ill-informed. It's just flat wrong. And I think that is disgraceful. Danny. Well, I will say for Governor Polis, his uh, characterization of what um, uh, Ron DeSantis and the state legislature have done, it is fascistic. And it's against the First Amendment. It is government taking steps against a private entity for their speech, okay? And the speech was defending the human rights of individuals. So, yeah, the, the Florida always, the, sunshine's, the sunshine is gone. It's a disgrace. Time to see something nice rather quickly. Patty. A few blocks from here, you have um, the art park in Rhino and the new library named for Bob Ragland, famous artist. David. The Florida judge who correctly ruled that the decider on masks on national transportation is a decision to be made for Congress. Congress never delegated to the Centers for Disease Control or anybody else the power to make that decision. They authorized quarantines and making healthy people wear a mask is not a quarantine. Denise. Denver City Councilwoman Jamie Torres, uh, she held up a contract uh, with Denver and a collection agency because she didn't want that collection agency to have the authority to collect fines of $300 or less. That's a recognition that fines and fees due to courts really have a disproportionate impact on communities of color and people of low income, rah, rah. Danny. The Connecticut House of Representatives uh, passing a bill expanding access to abortion care by expanding the uh, categories of health care providers who can uh, perform abortion care and preventing uh, Connecticut from uh, enforcing any of the anti-abortion vigilante um, edicts that come out of anti-abortion states. And I want to say something nice about my friend Danny Newsom, one of a couple different folks we're going to have over the next several uh, weeks uh, joining me on my last shows. Uh, as we said at the top of the show, Danny was with me when I was an intern. We've uh, and, and she's had jobs all around. She's produced shows with me. She's hosted shows, uh, worked all the different uh, areas around here. You've always been such a, a dear friend, Danny. So thank you for being a part of this, uh, the last hurrah shows, and uh, just grateful for you being here. Thank you for having me, Dominic. I'm absolutely still in shock, but it was good to be back. Dave and I, you know, I guess we could do fisticuffs, but we won't. We won't. Not today. Um, thank you. And it was good to be back it, at it the was, table. It was, thank you. It was fitting that we were chatty today because <laughs> the, the, this, this is the legacy. That is all the time we have for this episode of Colorado Inside Out. For everybody here at PBS 12, I'm Dominic DiZutti. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.